Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. So we're cracking on with the uh, latest campaign, the coffee campaign, the ultra hard campaign. Uh, before we get into the mission, I've just got to do my quick thanks for the week. Um, it's been a good week. Uh, many thanks to Rich Wells, as usual, for uh, for PayPal. Jason, don't have a surname, just Jason, for the Patreon. Uh, Nick Novi for the PayPal, you know who you are, thank you very much. Uh, Michael Zona for the PayPal. Um... Paul Rainbow, a very generous PayPal, thank you very much. And Matthew Cragnall, very generous PayPal, thank you very much for that. That one's allowed me to buy uh, my girlfriend's ticket to Riot to come to the GR meeting, so she's very happy as well. Thanks, guys, and uh, yep, all good. Um, and it is now day five. So, to put you um, in the know of what's going on, I will pass you over to Coffee. So, day five. After the not-so-super-successful Day 4, the Red 4 has retaken Good Alter Airfield. The runway has been repaired off the crashed Figgin and is fully operational, if it wasn't for one little detail, which is the weather's absolute, absolute garbage. There are 25 knot crosswinds and thunderstorm and rain, and the airfield is just not suited for that, so Red 4 cannot spare the aircraft. Blue 4 has lost its two spotting cruisers that helped with the amphibious landing, but that didn't completely stop the landing effort, and they have established a good foothold at the uh, peninsula right there. The Red 4 team has a very good morale, almost too good, and it's seeped onto the general populace, which has caused some of the uh, Nortomerian people who got trapped, they have been beaten up and abused in a number of ways because people obviously blame them for the assault even though they probably had nothing to do with it. So you may want to start liberating people. This horrible weather has opened a pretty good window for Green Reapers. As we all know, Reapers don't really care that much about bad weather. <laughs> so uh, relatively safe skies apart from obvious sound sites and other defenses and the whole ground war going on down there but it should be a bit clearer than the previous days the s300 had a bit of an issue resupplying because the heavy rainfall took people by surprise they didn't really have time to reinforce and find new roads so most of the weapons primarily new ammo and a replacement radar got stuck in the mud yay so it's a wonderful day for Blue to capitalize on lots of good events. But the weather is not too forgiving. Lovely. Right. As, unless anyone's got anything else for Red 4, we'll get rid of them so we can go over my excellent plan that I've been theorizing. Okay, uh, gentlemen. So, uh, we've obviously been failing to do this. It's been really, really hard. The S300 has been completely you know buggering us up and the red migs certainly haven't helped so this time i'm going to win because i'm getting bored of losing so i have asked firstly for uh, satellite imagery of the guadada airfield and i've decided i'm going in there on uh, in on the ground i'm taking a um suite of ground units and i'm going to storm the airbase and destroy everything in guadada if you guys can give me some air cover that would be much appreciated as well as that, I'm planning to move the fleet closer to Guadada, so I'm going to shell 1,000 shells down on Guadada to make sure that nothing lives and everything um, that we need to destroy is destroyed. That's what I'm going to be doing. The one issue that I've got, Cap, is that um, Guadada has repair maintenance supply facilities there. If you destroy all of that, we can't use it either. Roger, so you want a bit of precision from Cap is what you're saying? Uh, that's okay on, now that's uh, okay if we go to recon photography page I've got this all planned out I asked from our spy satellite if you look down at line 85 and downwards images imagery of um, the uh, the area of Guadada which I got as a, a genuine high res um, picture now I've had our GR analysts and our buddy at the CIA uh, study the pixels and they think they've worked out where the units are and you can see them marked up and they've had their best guess at what the units are so i've got something good to go on so when i start playing plastering out my tomahawks i've got an area to aim for i won't just say in the middle of the runway plus a thousand feet i'm going to hit it in those areas fully saturate them 
If I kill them, great. If not, the Amrams are still going anyway, and we're gonna have some air cover, although it's gonna be difficult with the weather, obviously. After they're dead, we're gonna have you guys land there, and it's gonna be ours, because we've got to start making progress. Um, right. Harriers? I have a priority dispatch from uh, Intelligence Source. There's Go. a... Sochi is halfway militarized and has seen the first shipment of aircraft. From who? Blue or red? Uh, for blue. Basically, blue has spawn points on Sochi now. Cap wins. All right, Cap. One thing that I think the Harriers could do, like a flight of two Harriers, go down closer to Sukumi and hit radar sites with sidearms because, from my understanding, the S-300 was using a secondary radar. Oh, if you can do that, I don't know anything about Sukumi. I haven't gathered any intel. If you think you can do that, remember the S-300 may still be firing, the bigger one. Um, he didn't say it wasn't firing. He said that unit that I killed hadn't been destroyed. Uh, it can work without that unit, so just bear that in mind. And you won't be able to see the launches today, remember that, so um, super, super caution is advised today. Any, to, uh, so the Harriers know what they're doing. Um, uh, that's what we've got today, isn't it? Hang on. There's no point of having F5s, obviously, because they've got nothing to do, unless they know something more than me. Well, don't forget, the uh, F5's a reasonable bomb truck. Yes, but not in low cloud where you have no direct lines, right? We could well, be a bomb for the H and Weasel. Yeah, but don't forget, low cloud is 10,000 feet. It's not 1,000 feet. It's over past 10,000, so we still have some leeway. Mm -hmm. Okay. So F5 is a pretty good weaseling force for all the strellas and stuff that are dotted around Gadata. We've got the weaselly yeah, men in Sherman, so. Grinkle, and Warren. They're weaselly men. Okay. The Harriers can stuff up and shoot it from okay. there. Okay. Bring some rockets and guns. Also, Justin. Um, what hogs? So you know what you're. You've got a clear idea of what you're doing. I guess you're going to help at Guadada. Uh, yeah. So um, but again, we'll S be doing the close air support for your Porsche. Yep, so that's you contact us. fine. Okay. You can you can drive them, Blasty. I'm going to tell you what to do. Right, Blasty. Let's get this tank. Let's get this tank brigade going. Yeah, they're moving. The weather is bad, but we're all good. The rest of the units just leave them here because we'll lag the guys out and it's not fair. Get my Abrams over to the coast on the east. Uh, waypoint them all around the coast and get them to Guadada without facing any incidents. Max speed, make it happen. Blasty, for my information, how do I get inside a tank? All units, Cap is moving the ships at full speed towards Granada. And the blasted skin doesn't have his canopy clothes. Okay. Hammer is taxiing for runway 24. The fleet is streaming towards Guadada. Lastly, how are my tanks? They're moving. Careful not to go too inland, it's got to be right uh, along the coast so, so we don't hit the T90. Tag, tag a fly rolling, one way two four. 
Emma taking the active runway 24. Uh, Sherman 1, check your nose and start. Emma flights taking off. Okay, the lead tanks have got to the lighthouse at Guadada. Yes, I love you, Harriet. Don't be there. Yes, Magnum. Missile 
Any hostile units? AD on the way. Target destroyed. Good work. Anything else? Move up. Target spotted Asmus 107, ZG 23 bunker. That's right, Special one, ZG 23.
Sherman. Send. Do you have control of those mortars at the friendly beachhead? Um, technically, yes. Are you able to perform a fire mission? Yeah, they're on the range. I don't know how long the range is, is the problem. Is there a way for you, can you select the unit you can? Wait, hang on, wait. Uh, camera's down for the apron, so uh, don't worry about runways. Western apron. Copy that, Saber 2 running again with 6 Mavericks number. Good kill, well done. Give us 10 mics. Hey man, be careful of the coastline. There's an SA6 that I can't get a rock on. Hey 10, be advised. Uh, friendly mechanized units moving to the north of the airbase now. Within airfield parameters, uh, boundary. Same flight copy. Hey 
an APC up here. Auntie, I'll need you in a minute, but let me just clear out this final Tavuskas. Doing good, Blasty. Seven, two, three away, resting south. Can you describe what units they were, Hater? It looked like a Strela and two ground units, but on, on shore. Was any of them just slightly north of the runway? Negative. They were south side of the runway. Roger, bear in mind there is a Strela north of the runway, we just can't find it. Uh, I'll cover that, having a look. Maybe out half a mile or so. Sam's out of Guadalajara, Sam's out of Guadalajara, get out of here. It was manpower to catch about to kill him. Zagwadada. Zagwadada. Yes. Yep, do that and um, I'll pick up any struggling to play. I think that manpower was the last thing. We should be able to have men landing soon. That's why we're doing the flyover to confirm that. What's, what's your ingress? Where you're coming from? Cap, they're coming from the water. I think they're going to be going north. They're from? coming from the south. Making it run in now. I don't see anything firing. Hey, there's one more Strela that you're heading into, German, compared to Bangladesh. It did not fire. Sally, I think I've seen it. I think I've seen it. On the way. Have a rifle on a gun. 23. Okay. Sherman, I think you can try landing at Guadada from the sea. 
track. Uh, Cap Saber 2, I have, uh, I can see a truck with a, looks like a radar dish just near the north part of the runway. Is that friendly or enemy? Oh, that's part of the, that's part of the airfield that's leaving. Airfield, airfield, yeah, that's airfield support. Uh, copy that. I'm pretty... Okay, someone come down to land, I'll meet you on the runway in my tank. Copy. Welcome in, Hogs. Beautiful day. Copy that, just doing a flyby. Hey, man, base, so true, runway 24, full stop. Don't you hit my tank, Sherman. No one firing at Guadalajara anymore. We've landed at Guadalajara, Sherman's down. We've secured Guadalajara, it's ours. We're going to land, and then we're going to make an advance on the S-300 side. Roger that. Copy that. Uh, Roger that. Tank is bigger than your jet, Sherman. Say again. My tank is bigger than your jet. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't surprise me. In fact, come to think of it, that tank actually has a jet engine. Hey, fam. Missile, missile, missile. Missile, missile, missile. We've got a Strella here, we've got a Strella. Cap's gonna go find it. I think that's a tank, let's go. Everyone back away from Gudada, we've got live Tunguska slash Strilla. There's a, there's a Tunguska next to the lighthouse to the south east. Unless you already got that one. That one's been shagged. Warren, if you can get another missile out, that'll be very helpful. Say again, Chairman, you got stepped on. Where did that missile come from? Somewhere between north and bearing 03 from the airfield, at least from the flight position. Cap's on the way, if you can get another missile out, it'll be very useful. Alright, I have visual on its position. It's sitting north of the town you're about to drive through. You need to get across the river and into the open fields to the north of the village. What are heading that way? We just lost a plane in front of me. Copy, that was my wingman. Tally running in with Maverick. Is that the ground tuning in question? Uh, AFM. Come on. Static finals, Kodada, 
Right, Marlin. Okay, guys, the tanks are going to start heading north towards the S300 site. I'm being fired on north of the runway. Official Charlie, JG23, firing from next to the bridge. Can you get in, Merlin? Stand by. BTR is firing a stack on the front as well. There's BTRs in the village. Go defense the stack, you're not going to make it if you keep going this low. Yeah, there are, there are loads of ground defenses down here. We're going to find a lot of them. Break, break, there is a tank platoon next to the airfield. Got that beach up by the, by the bridge. One tungsten down. Correction, it's the one across the river. They're in the village, just across the river from your force. Good right, hello. Shag, BTR. If you come into Guadalajara, guys, always approach from the south. The north is covered in the below. Copy that, blast it, yep. Why, why did our ground forces not go into Gudada? Neither did we. That's why it happened. Well done, um, Gumbo. Something taken out. Roger that. Remember, Chairman, there was a um, hundred meters west of that bridge was a S seventy twenty three. Slicing your business, Copy, game up, me. Copy. Coming back round on them now. Right, I'm gonna go get this airframe repaired. Yep, it's not firing back. All units, you can approach this if you're just watch the whiskers. Bad gun. Keep dodging, AAA going up still. Missile out, Elo, it's not for you actually, scratch that. Tunga scrap out for someone. Oh no, Elo's out. It's still too dangerous, guys. It's still too dangerous to go for the S300. Hello, put it down. We'll come and rescue you in the tanks. 
Tommy, Tommy. 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 Caps on the right. Be patient. Be patient, guys. Don't go in anymore. Telling ground fire. Looks like friendly troops are in contact. The hogs to help you there, Sherman. Say again. Get the hogs to help you with it. Alright, if I can get the A10 TGP in the villagers searching for contact.
that shot down. Uh, my pilot managed to eject, but he was coming into fire from units uh, between me and Gudada. Roger, unfortunately you can't take part anymore unless you've got combined arms. I could do with a tank to come and help me. Kappa's reached, right reached S300 site. Lots of um, anti aircraft events. Problem. I'm destroying the S300 site, that's all we need to do. There's a lot of red letters to write to their mamas, Cap. I'll do it, I'm used to it for doing it for you boys. 
Copy and paste. Copy and paste. Dear Mrs. Atomic. Oh, Taylor Shift, Taylor Shift, bailing. Now, what did we speak about, Tail? BMP uh, uh, on the village. Entire S300 SAM site down. Say again. Say again. Any more APCs in the uh, area or the S300? I've destroyed the S300. I'm going to jump into combined arms once I've landed this carrier. I'm going to hunt him. 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 Okay, and we need to have blue friendly ground units on the airfield for it to change to blue. Can someone sort that out? I'm 20 miles away. Yeah, I'll give you a second those two AI Abrams to move over there. That's it. It makes a bit of get killed on the way. Yeah, so I'm circling around it. The only uh, threat I've got here is a man pad, which Sly is taking out now. And those AG-23s right next to you. Not for long. I see you, Kev, but where is the thing you want to kill? Okay, Cap's going to dump the tank here, then I'm going to take control of the fleet. Well done, Sly. That's the S300 defenses out. Cap, take a look at P Man. He's coming in for an attack run. Yeah, I'm spotting from his plane. I'm running the right. Yeah, on that left, on that left town. Oh, you got it. Well done. Got him. Gudata is now blue. Gudata is now blue. Woo! Land at Gudata, everyone. I'm going to go and um, ferry uh, Harry over across. I am also curious about how we handle dealing with reinforcements. We're going to need more tanks. Okay, it turns out it's really hard to fly a Harry on this thing. Cap's taken off from Soshi and is on route to Granada. See you there. Sherman, sure, 
Yeah, you've got to import Pierre over. Pierre's not available. He's currently sorting out the acquisition of some new aircraft, so it would take several months. Pierre's on fire next to runway. What do you mean on fire? Well, when I was going into land, the Herringer was flying in the direction of the runway but facing, basically diagonally. What's, the, what's the maximum landing like speed of the Harrier? going sideways. What's the maximum landing yeah, speed of the Harrier? Yeah, gonna come off the crap. Now, what's the maximum wind landing speed of the Harrier? 20 knots. 20 knots! So don't try and land in a 40 knot gust, you have to do vertical. To land uh, a Harrier in these conditions, you, basically, you have to land it vertically and you have to point your nose into the wind. Cabin bound, good order. Yeah, I did that. Okay, let's park at the big taxiway. That's uh, inbound vertical landing.
Cap down the safe. Last man down, come on, let's go. Hello and welcome back. So, that's the end of the mission. Quite a lot of us got shot down, as you can see, but on the plus side, we did do um, some good work. We destroyed the S300 site, finally. We cleared Guadada Air Base, finally, and we've captured it. So, we're happy with that. Tomorrow we're going to have to clear some smaller pockets of armoured resistance just north of the airfield, but otherwise we're all good. So, on three we're going to celebrate by um, full power and eject. One, two, three. Roger. Okay, hello, welcome back. So to the brief debrief, uh, we done did done 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 did pretty good, I reckon. We got rid of the S three hundred site. Uh, we got Guadada. Um, we worked out some pockets of resist ground resistance around Guadada, although there's probably a bucket load more stuff to go. What else did you see, Sherman, out there? So you know, reports on the Hellhounds are the three of their tanks pushed through and captured Guadada. We have. The final two APCs are pushing into Gudata as well, although the remainder were in contact and presumably knocked up by anywhere up to a tank platoon in the two villages just northeast of Gudata. Uh, Hellhounds Infantry reports that they have set up just west of that first village, and another group has engaged and captured an enemy mortar position north of the first group. Modern. The other two are taking a walk along the road for some reason. Lots of AT work to be done by the sounds of it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, yes. And that's that. Um, there are still some Tunguskas and stuff around the S300 that I couldn't get my tank to. Um, I lone wolfed a Vigan mission round the back and up through the mountains and came, uh, dropped down east of Sukumi and, and managed to land between 10 and 12 bombs on Sukumi's runway knocking it out of action. Boom. So yeah, I'm looking at it now actually. Oh right, I'll have to capture that on the camera. So I count in the runway one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine craters on the runway, two on the adjacent taxiway, and two nice. on the grass next to it. Who needs, so who needs a platoon? That's halfway at the runway. So if if there's something that requires more than half of the runway to take off, then they aren't going anywhere, and yeah. they definitely aren't landing. Everything that Red gets, basically. Cool. What a handsome mission. As soon as Reds aren't flying, lols. Right, we managed to, um, yeah, we u made use of the high winds, and we managed to get a foothold. So I guess we're going to have to see what tomorrow holds. Anything else from anyone? Yeah, when I basically broke off from the Harrier flight, had talked to Atomic about it, and I started flying down to Sukumi to try and get that secondary radar site for the S-300. Mm -hmm. And on my way down, I started getting spikes from the S-300. So I fired on that and took out the radar site, like, I think 10 minutes into the mission. And I took out an SA-3 big radar. Oh, that's I good. One on the stick. Mm -hmm. um, but near north of Sukumi, I think it's on the cross runways. Possibly, I don't know. There's a big white cross on tap view. So I don't want to get ahead of ourselves, but I'm guessing Sukumi is the next town we want to take then. Yeah. It's be a big fight. Yeah, got to mop some stuff up, I think. Well, bear yeah. in mind we have yeah, to get there first. There are there a go. lot of villages, thin mountain passes to get through. Not to mention the whole town of Sukumi itself, which is a mission in itself. Because mm -hmm. there's only two bridges across the big river and the heavily mountainous terrain, so chances are they're defending Sukumi to the teeth. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. Anyway, we don't want to get ahead. Anything else before we sign 